Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday. I know that much. Uh, Wednesday the 30th. <laughs> I gotta double check what day of the week it is. I just left my friend who lives in Concord, California. Had a nice day with her and enjoyed catching up, chatting, eating some good food. We even went for an ice cream afterwards and I have to tell you that ice cream was amazing. We went to Baskin Robbins. I haven't had ice cream since I left and I've attempted to get ice cream a couple of times just hadn't panned out so I was so glad to be able to get a ice cream sundae. Now I am heading back to my sister's house and the agenda once I get back it's it's cold and rainy today. I don't know how long that's going to last for. I haven't really checked the weather. I do need to wash the van I would love to get it, you know, a good once over. I need to do a little bit of research to find out where I can get an oil change. I don't know if there is a Ram dealership in the area that I could stop at. I do need to color my grays. Might do that today or tomorrow. And then I really need to start making a game plan for heading back east and see how that goes. Yeah, it's really kind of cold and gloomy today. And I'm on some shitty roads right now. In case you can't tell. <laughs> Do you ever drive and wonder if there's something wrong with your tires? And you realize that it's just the fact that you're driving on a crappy road. That's what I'm doing right now. See? I feel like I'm back in Texas. Where do I have to go? I have to go to 580 East. Oh. Which I think I missed. missed my exit. Ugh, I gotta go around and around and around. Yeah, I missed my exit. Yeah. It's sort of stuck together. Good job. Are you, right. still there? Are you oh, filming yeah. him and I walked right in front of him? That's alright. <laughs> Is that good? Is Aunt Judy a good cook? And she makes magical eggs, huh? Better than mom's eggs. <laughs> or I can get you a cutting board. Oh yeah, let's get an appropriate cutting board here. So you want a blue one? You want this one or that blue one? Uh, it's bigger. That's what this small. one's fine. This one's fine. Let's see if we would. Now these are not. Those are not right. So okay, so what them. we're doing here today, folks, is we are taste, we're taste testing. <laughs> we're, tr we're doing a demo and we're trying out this Betty Crocker avocado tool that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I bought two of them, one for my sister since she has this huge avocado tree and she's literally getting avocados like daily. Obviously, these are the ones we're going to cut open today. So, I guess this part... Oh, this is kind of sharp. Yeah. This is this opens it? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to try to do this. I'm going to point you down so you can actually see what I'm doing and to see if this thing actually works. So, supposedly you use this to cut it, right?
it seems to cut very easy. And then you open it. Twist it. <sighs> okay. Now, I don't get how this works. It doesn't, it's it like doesn't slipping. connect. It's probably a small <gasps> one. There, there go. we go. It does. Okay. All right. You just have to learn how to do it. And then we put this. I want to make sure it doesn't matter which way I do it. I think this way is sharper. It's just a small one. How do you do it? You just go like just, this. No, you pull it up. Well, this is. You run it down the whole side. Well, but this kind of gets it out neater. I think. Yeah. Done deal. Wow. All right. That's almost perfect. Look at that. For somebody who doesn't know what she's doing, look at that. Perfect avocado. Now I'm going to try to do the slide like you yeah, did. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I don't know. What do you know? Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you guys got to get yourself one of these. Look at that. Perfect. Woohoo. There. Should I do the other one or are we going to need more than one? Probably not. You sure? Okay. Not for today. Should I sell these for people to grow them? No? Okay. So I thought my sister could use that avocado thing because she has this avocado tree that is just full, full of avocados. And I get to take some with me when I leave. So I bought one of those for myself, too. Just rested in the sun, Duders. Good morning. Where am I gonna put you guys? Where am I gonna put you guys down? I should have thought of this. Wait a minute. Oh, hang on a second. Handling an email. Oh, <laughs> clients and emails. So I am just taking care of a few things this morning. I gotta brush my teeth. Um, I'm still at my sister's house. Hang on. Oh, it has been nice just to kind of why can I not where can I put you? I need to put you somewhere. I got an idea. Where can I put you guys? Can I put you guys here? I'm gonna put you guys here for now. Okay, good morning start this all over again. <laughs> I am still at my sister's house. Oh, 
Okay. That's done. Let me pour my water out. I have this little funnel set up for now that dumps into my gray tank because I still haven't found a solution to get that to work. It has been nice kind of playing catch up and not really having to worry about, you know, vlogging too much. I've had a chance to edit a bunch of videos, catch up on more accounting work. I've been doing a lot of things here, uh, doing a little bit of fix-ups here and there of the van, uh, doing things like coloring my roots. Do you know what you're doing, Judy? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not as good as mom. As, no. Mom has never done my hair, okay? <laughs> it's Nicole from East End Hair. Aww. And she's probably watching this right now. Oh, so. great. She said she promised she would be able to fix me when I get back. Oh, so. good. <laughs> Jeez. I can't even see. It was your idea to record it. No. It was. You said, you should be recording this. And then you're like, no, never mind. <laughs> well, you don't have to record at all. Oh, I wasn't going to. I'm just, this is going to be like a time lapse thing. A time lapse. <laughs> we'll see how it comes out in the end. I'm trying to get those ones near your head. I know. You got to get the, oh, get the head. It'll just, just, it's just skin. It'll come off. That's the hardest part. Jeez. Look at all those. It's, it doesn't look like gray, though. It looks like brown. Well, that's the main root is brown. It's dark brown. But there are the grays on the top and towards the back. You'll see it more. Oh, great. Thank <sighs> you. <laughs> that heads up. Yeah, just a oh, I finally got a chance to color the grays. <laughs> I think uh, my sister Judy and I did a pretty good job. And we used the ion that you can get from Sally Beauty with the 20 volume developer. And it just dried, this is just drying naturally. <laughs> drying naturally. So what do you think? Do you think we did a good job? Giving Duders a bath. Duders, you ready to take a bath? Mm hmm. I'm gonna use this oatmeal shampoo, hypoallergenic. Get this warm. Did you like that bath, Duders? And kind of organizing a little bit more the van. Here's one of the things I've done. I organized my junk drawer a little bit more. These drawers don't go out all the way, which is, I think, a good thing as to why they don't come out all the way when I drive. But I added these, like, Dollar Tree containers for, like, my magnets miscellaneous stuff this is like random pieces of duct tape my bose speaker my batteries like everything i have in nice little containers this is a project i'm going to be working on sharpies you know i think you guys get the idea this i'm gonna need because i'm going to work on something today, a uh, hack I saw online to get the streaks and the gunk off of my windows. Well, I started working on hanging these up. I still haven't hung them up yet. I hung this up, which is, I just did it with that clear double stick tape for my dishwashing stuff. Let me hang this back up. This is like this is like my favorite little oven mat. I absolutely love this. 
I got this at the Goodwill. I forgot. That's the other thing I got at the Goodwill. I ordered some things online that got delivered to me. So while I was here, so I ordered myself a short little hose. And that's for if I'm at water and I just need to quickly fill up a couple of one gallon jugs instead of getting out my 50 foot hose. I could just pull this out. And we got to do laundry today, folks. I also picked up two things, two of the, uh, the things from Dollar Tree that I think are awesome. One is this hanging towel holder. Uh, it's great because I can just always have my dry towel here. I organized this drawer a little bit more, putting things inside of little containers and Ziploc bags just to help make things a little bit more organized. I took my, this is my flavored water stuff I put in one of these Dollar Tree bins. For ketchup, I just use packets. So uh, I just have a few packets here. That Again, it just helps kind of keep things a little bit more organized. I have still been using that Dollar Tree coffee. I'm actually liking the Dollar Tree coffee. So, and then on this side, let me open up this. On this side, I found this little hanging thing at the Dollar Tree. Now this is brilliant, guys, because I should do a TikTok about this because the, the spaces between these little, this is meant for like, you know, a coat hanger or whatever. These spaces fit perfectly these skinny uh, Mrs. Myers containers and the Dollar Tree spray bottles. So I have one spray bottle that has my thieves cleaner in it and it just slides in and down. And then this, this just has water in it. So I have those two things and I did, like I said, I did set up this. Oh, I have this little thing here for a toothbrush and I just kind of hang it inside of my water container. And then this is just a long tube with a funnel and that leads to, I don't know if you can see it there, but it leads to a container that had windshield washer fluid in it. Don't know if you can see it. Okay, so I just got done getting my oil changed. And now we're gonna try to find a place to wash at least the outside of the car. And then when I get back to my sister's house, I'm gonna wipe down the inside because it is so dusty. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's like so dusty from all the time in the, you know, the, the desert condition. So uh, let's see if we can go find a place to wash the van. Oh, well, it is looking a lot better now. I got most of that dust up. The window is pretty clean. I got a few more streaks to clean up. Side windows clean. Oh, almost ready to head home. I've never been to one of these. Yes, we have to vlog this. What's, what's in a Dollar General market? 
like like supermarket. Oh wow. Just get all my stuff here. I just get all my stuff here. Why didn't you tell me it was a grocery store? Mm. Yeah, this is like a grocery store. I love this. Why can't ours have this? Oh, I could get myself bacon and freeze it. God, that's expensive. Ah, uh, cookie dough. Three for ten. Well, what if I just want one six pack? Well, then it's probably separate or whatever the regular price. Well, let me. I'll just get three of them. You use them. You know you will. I just don't like to have room. I don't. You know what I mean? Room. See if those taste like garbage. Still don't see bread. It is like the shortest menu I've ever seen. Ever. Oh. We are in the in and out Burger. I've never been in one of these before. Duder's excited because he wants to try the fries. Right, Duder's? Duder's. Duder's takes on in and out Burger. Right? They got french fries for you, buddy. I didn't get it when we first came in, but we went inside because the line is like around the building. And Judy's got a handicap pass, so. Bonus. I also asked for extra ketchup huh? and they gave me, I'm talking to the vlog. And they gave me, she gave me literally like, uh, I'll show you this huge bag of ketchup she gave me. I don't know why I decided to <laughs> record this at night, but. What I wanted to show you guys, the other thing I just did today, because it just came in the mail, is I replaced my map. So this is my old map. And I don't know if you ever really saw it, because usually in my vlogs, my door is open. But this is on the inside of my door, was. And what I originally did was I got a map for free from AAA. And I modge-podged it on poster board. A uh, couple pieces of poster board and then I had some cork up here and then I had it like uh, bordered in rope and I had it up on the slider and the idea was to put push pins and stuff on all my locations well what ended up happening is what had happened was <laughs> moisture from the door you know like if the door is open when it's raining or whatever it started to get messed up on the bottom and it just it i knew it wasn't going to be a permanent solution so we ripped this down what i did was i went to amazon and i ordered a laminated uh map so i took this all off and i put some new cork up I still have a few more. I actually need three more pieces, I think, of cork so that I can pin stuff up here and I maybe can some, pin some pictures down here on the side. And then I just tacked it up with these pins. I got these. I'll explain all this in a minute. I got these pins off of Amazon, too, with all different colors so I can start. I'm going to go back through and pin so I have my Modesto because that's where I am right now. I have that pinned here and yeah so as I start pinning things in this is going to become more you know I'm going to be pinning stuff going Nevada the stuff when I was in New Mexico uh, going across Texas you know all this stuff that I did back home 
So I'm really excited about that. We also, my sister and I went today to the Dollar Tree and I picked up a bunch of stuff, more stuff. You guys have no idea the money that I've been spending at Dollar Tree. Uh, let me get these snacks out of the way. Quick little haul for you. Oh, so hang on a second. Let me close these so I don't lose them. And I'm putting this around this so that they don't fall off. I bought some more socks because I'm somehow losing socks. So I bought, these were three pairs for a buck. I thought these were pretty good. And there's purple, uh, gray, and then black. I just got the same. So now I have six pairs. I picked up these, they had all these like tech stuff, which I thought, of course, because of the tie dye, they have a screen cl cleaning kit with microfiber like towel. We had some, we, I got some screen wi screen cleaning wipes. I got another little container. I love these containers. I use these all the time and I also lose them all the time for an extra pair of earbuds or whatever else. Sometimes I'll put like my lip medics in some uh, rubber bands for my hair and kind of can toss them in the glove glove box so i picked up though that and then i got this neat little it's called a phone pocket where this has adhesive on the other side and supposedly you can put it on the back of your phone so you can slip in a card or something i thought this would be cute to put somewhere on my dashboard and to be able to carry something like maybe the america the beautiful card or something like that that pretty much will only get used like in my car so i got that or you know like if you have like a car wash club or something like that i thought it would be cute to fix into the car i haven't tried these yet but i picked up this southwestern ranch dip mix these were also dollar 25 and then i got this garlic cheese ball mix which only takes cream cheese so that's brilliant I got some candies, these magical ice cream gummies. These gummies are really good. These are gonna go in my uh, travel snacks. I got some more microfiber towels. So those are gonna go in my towel drawer. And I got these strawberry cheesecake wafer cubes. These look really, really good. Very good. Then got a can of Prego spaghetti sauce so that I could have something if I wanted to make a quick pasta meal. My sister had a bunch of chocolate and munchies. So because we're traveling to Reno tomorrow, I used some of my Dollar Tree bins that I picked up the other day and I've already eaten half of it. So hopefully I'll be able to get a refill before we leave tomorrow. And these are like peppermint bark pretzels. We got a mixture of Ghirardelli chocolate that I have in here that are mine. So I had, these were in the fridge, but after I put my stuff from the Dollar General Market, oh my God, that was so exciting. Uh, I don't have, I no longer have room in my fridge. Oh, and my brother-in-law Len is the king of succulents. There's quite a few different ones here. I don't know what the names are, but there's one here, one here, a couple here, one here, one here. Um, he put some cute little rocks in there, so I just need to make sure this is safe when I'm driving. And we're going to see how well I can take care of these succulents. So fingers crossed on that. So thank you, Len, for my succulents. Also, in other news, Len is letting me take his second metal detector because my metal detector is not working. Don't know why. I thought we were trying to use it in Malibu, but I think maybe that's when Dave and I had realized that the metal detector was not working. Let me turn you around here so you guys can see me. Uh, Len has instructed me that when I get to different campsites, I have to use the metal detector and leave an update on the vlogs if I'm finding anything with the metal detector. So I guess that's going to be something fun that I'm going to be adding to the vlogs on my travels home. From their trees, I have all these navel oranges. I mean, look how big these are. And I have like 12 avocados. So, yeah, 
<laughs> I gotta find a place to put those so that they uh, can stay safe when I'm driving. Mm -hmm. 